Today we are going over a taste, a review, and quite honestly, uh, sort of a bottle pop because I haven't really tasted it, but I did take it off, of Balcones ZZ Top Tres Hombres. Let's go! going on guys my name is Carlos thank you for joining me here on the whiskey corner you guys see some changes have been made it's still a work in progress but I appreciate you stopping by checking out the video and checking out this channel please I'm gonna start with the favor so I can get that out of the way do me some favors I will really appreciate it if you guys could like or dislike this video whatever you feel like it whatever your little heart desires Yes, please help me out there. Um, the YouTube algorithm really likes that. But one thing that you guys can help me out on, which eventually you might get helped out on as well, is by subscribing. Please, let me uh, show me some support by uh, subscribing. We have a live stream coming up. I don't know when it is, but it's after we pass a thousand subscribers. Once we pass a thousand subscribers, we're gonna have a live stream where I'm gonna give away some goodies. At the moment, it's two bottles. Might be three, so we'll see. Um, and you know, we'll get into all those details at that time, but it's only for the subscribers. So if you don't subscribe and help out to get me to the thousand subscribers, then you will not be entered. So help me out with that. So trying to make this a quick video, we're gonna try a rapid, rapid review of Balcones ZZ Top Tres Hombres. As I said, I already took off the thing and uh, the wrapper is right there on the floor, but I haven't popped it, so let's see how it is. Eh, all right, I mean, a little lackluster. Uh, I'll give it maybe a four out of 10. It's not, it really wasn't that great. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't that great. Um, damn, I just spilled it all over the place. Anyways, so if you haven't seen this in your area, I have not seen it here in Florida. I've only seen this in Georgia and probably in Texas, they'll probably have it too. But in Georgia is where I've seen this and bought it. Now, I know ZZ Top, they, I think they were like Southern Rock um, and Blues. Um, and sorry if I don't know ZZ Top, I don't follow ZZ Top, but I know they're the guys with the big beards and they're very popular, right? Um, so when I saw that, that's pretty cool. I had to get it, right? I like Balcones overall. I like what they're doing. And at 50 bucks, I was just like, you know what, let me take that because I have not seen that back then. I bought this, look at my last store haul video. I bought this last month and I still haven't seen it in my area at all. So who knows? That exclusivity <laughs> is what I like. So I definitely wanted to get in front of the camera and review this for you guys. Now, I don't know too much about it and it doesn't say too much, but Balcones did a collaboration with ZZ Top. I think it was done during the pandemic that they were going back and forth through like virtual meetings, um, sending them samples, having them pick uh, different barrels and so on and so on. And they came up with this mixture, with this batch. And from what I read, actually it says it back here, it is a grain, it is three grains married together. So, just like ZZ Top, there's three guys, tres hombres, and it says ZZ Top combined blues and southern rock in an unprecedented and iconic way. Tres hombres whiskey is made of three Texas grown grains, corn, barley, and rye. The same spirit of honest exploration and synergy that has cemented ZZ Top's place in music history. Now, that's all they really say about it. Um, it's 50% alcohol volume, so 100 proof, and it has a nice little homage to ZZ Top there with their colorful and wonderful beers. I wish I could grow some kind of beer like that. Anyways, let's get into this, and let's see what this is all about. Let's smell it. Right off the bat, it is smelling to me like 
like a true blue or a baby blue. And I know this because last week I just had one of those barrels. I think it was the baby blue that I had. Um, but it's that like blue corn mix or uh, mash bill that Balcones has. I love it. It's not for everybody because I know there's a lot of people that don't like it. I personally like Texas whiskey. I like the blue corn mix that Balcones does and that is what I am smelling here. So it's sweet, you get that corn, you get leather, you get some fruits. Uh, I'm smelling like apples, maybe pears, hold on. Yep, apples and pears. Um, I almost smell like butter when you put it on like a, a, a French, a freshly toasted French bread. Something like that, like when they give it to you at the Cheesecake Factory, right? And you put that butter on it and it melts on it. That's what it smells like too. It's very intriguing. I love it. Um, a little floral and then with that little little bit of leather that I'm getting from it, it's, it's right up my alley, quite honestly. But let's go in for a taste. First time I taste this, cheers. Okay, there's a little bit of spiciness, but it's from the rye spice. And it goes away, well, not too quickly, but it does go away. I'm getting like apples, some vanilla, caramel. You taste a little bit of that malted barley. Um, wow, this is good. That blue corn mash bill, I freaking love it. It's sweet. It is sweet, guys. So if you don't like sweet whiskey, you might not like this one, right? It's sweet, it's good. It doesn't pack like a powerful, like, punch your teeth out um, proofiness with the 100 proof, but it's just good. Like, I could see myself like daily drinking this, and I'm not even playing. Um, yeah, and then that leather note, and I love that leather note. Now, it doesn't say how long it's been aged for, so I'm assuming like two years. That's what I'm assuming, because usually Texas whiskey is like two to four years. Let me go in for another taste. Cheers. Yeah. Every note that I just mentioned. And the good thing about it is that what you're getting in the smell translates very good into what you're tasting, right? In my book, this is a slam dunk, especially at 50 bucks, which is what I got it for. I think that if you got it in your area, like if you find this in your area, I would definitely purchase it at $50. Now, some people that might not like this. If you don't like Texas whiskey and if you don't like Balcones, you probably won't like this. Also, if you don't like sweet whiskey or bourbon, you're not gonna like this, right? It's on a, you know, it's going down that route. But if you do, and if you wanna give it a try, if you wanna try something different, then I would definitely recommend this. At 50 bucks, you could not go wrong with this. I'm almost finishing it, and I'm gonna pour myself a little bit more after I finish this and I turn off the camera, uh, because it's that good. But again, I like Texas whiskey, I like Balcones, the blue corn or the corn mash bill, and, I, you know, I kind of like sweet whiskey or bourbon. Cheers. That leather like smell after you drink everything is, is amazing. So I would recommend it for my palate. Yes, I would. I could see myself drinking this um, every couple of days. I'm gonna say daily because I don't drink daily, but every couple of days, like as a daily drinker type of thing, I would see myself drinking this. So comment below, love going back and forth with you guys. Do me those favors, especially, especially that subscribe. That really, really help me out. Please um, check out the Patreon in the description. I'm gonna pour myself a little bit more of this, enjoy it a little more, but I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.